महबूब दे देखने Yo, 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 it's your boy, number one, Call of Duty, MLG, 360, the wide, no scope, athlete, coming straight at you for some Call of Duty review. Oh, yeah, baby, smash that like button. Coming straight at you for the Call of Duty Insider Activision paid contract to upload a video to give you positivity for this Call of Duty video. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, today, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Alpha 2v2 beta for the PlayStation 4, not you losers on the Xbox. That's right, you losers out there don't get a chance. Na 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 boo boo, stick your head in doo doo. Didn't get a chance to play because Activision paid, got a lot of money from Sony. So too bad, so sad for you dorks, but for the rest of us out here, and also for you who are intelligent and smart and beautiful who watched me, who didn't have a chance to play, but watched me on the Twitch stream, you know what? The Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2v2 Alpha came out today and here ladies and gentlemen I'm about to hit you with a review what I think about it and what modern warfare is like and what the future of modern warfare will probably be like because honestly I'm the smartest most athletic most beautiful probably the most like you know, enlightened Call of Duty guy out here in the whole world even though Call of Duty is not really my forte just being awesome is but enough with the self flatuation here let's just really jump into it shall we now I played the 2v2 for about four hours straight on my live stream, and quite honestly, my overall opinion, like just straight out the bat, raw opinion is, I think it is awesome. The gameplay is great, the gun mechanics are great, the sound is great, I think the graphics look good. Keep in mind though, I'm playing on a PlayStation 4 Pro, so the graphics might be a little bit better than what you were getting if you're playing on an original PlayStation 4, not the PlayStation 4 Pro. But the gameplay was great, the gun was fun, the movement was fun, I liked the way the guns felt, I liked the way, the, you know, just overall the game played. I think it was really awesome, and quite frankly, you know, long story short, I only complaint I have is the fact that the 2v2 is the only game mode we're getting, and quite frankly, it got a little bit boring, but after four hours, I still am enjoying the game, which is more than I can say about probably 90% of their Call of Duties I've played in the last four or five years. I go play Black Ops 4, after about 20 minutes, I want to take a sharp object and stab myself repeatedly in the freaking artery. And probably at this point in the video, you're thinking like, hey, eight thoughts, how much money did Activision pay you to make this positive video? And I'm being honest, about $40,000. It was really awesome. Big shout out to Activision. Thanks for T. Martin for giving me a ride in my blue, his gay blue Jeep, rather. He gave me a ride in my gay blue Jeep, guys, down to the bank to cash the money order from Activision. So that was really cool. Also, big shout out to Die Trine, the Texan guy out there. He was also playing the game with me. He was paid by Activision as well. He's horrible at the game couldn't get a win to save his life but i do appreciate the teamwork that it took to make this video happen also big shout out to blue i've never seen a kid with that many mental health problems and physical disabilities achieve so high so big shout out to blue and while we're speaking about mental and physical disabilities we can't forget david vondahar thank you for being fired from treyarch because honestly this game is 10 times better than black ops 4 i'm sorry that you got fired no i'm not you're a millionaire go be a dj stop making call of duty games because you suck you've lost your passion call of duty black ops series went to trash about eight years ago after black ops 2 so quite frankly this game call of duty modern warfare even just playing the 2v2 with limited guns with limited everything with no kill streaks is 10 times more enjoyable than black ops 4 has ever been including blackout and quite frankly the graphics in call of duty modern warfare look 10 times better than black ops 4 black ops 4 looks like it was put together by a child who has rheumatoid arthritis and used a coloring set from 1965 when the crayons were pretty much and the pen wasn't even having any ink left in them and quite frankly looked horrible this game that's what it makes it look like black ops 4 looks horrible for people out there who eat too much and may be obese, a good comparison that I can use and one that you might understand, definitely if you're driving a V6 red Mustang that has a salvage title, it's way better than Wendy's Chili with hot sauce and a Pepsi, an ice cold Pepsi. It is way better, it's sh all over that. Now to focus more on the game and what I thought about it and the positive and negatives and to elaborate more on that, first of all, the TTK, Time to Kill for those noobs out there who aren't MLG you know, professionals like yours truly, the Time to Kill, I loved it. It wasn't too fast, wasn't too slow. It was just like right in the sweet spot. You know what I'm saying? Like just like not too big, not too small, not too tight, not too loose, not too flat, not too you know big if you know what I'm saying. It was, it's just, I really liked the Time to Kill. I thought Time to Kill was perfect. It's not like as crazy easy slow after playing you know black ops 4 where it takes you know 15 clips and you know a grenade launcher to kill somebody no and it's also not as 
fast and stupid like Modern Warfare Remastered. No, it's its its own way. It's almost like, you know, it felt like Modern Warfare 2, to be honest. Like, you know, and another thing, too, which I really liked about it is that the guns, when they're in your hand, they felt big and overpowered. Like, you know, your mom, your mom would know plenty about what something in her hands from your truly eight thoughts feels like when she can talk about something big and overpowered but the guns they felt girthy they felt like really strong they felt like you know when you actually hit somebody with them shot somebody with them it felt like it made an impact and like you know it was visceral it was great it felt good it had like a good um heptic feedback finally again like it felt like rewarding now before i forget i gotta talk about an exploit and something negative that's really actually a big deal and infinity war needs to get on top of and that is this during the game, a guy on the other team bled through the in-game chat in between lobbies and was bragging about the fact that when the game started, he had his PlayStation 4 controller plugged in, right? And when the game started, after you know about a couple of minutes or so, he took his PlayStation 4, unplugged it, and plugged in his keyboard and mouse, and was playing keyboard and mouse in a console lobby with aim assist, mind you. Like, you may think, like, well, that's not that big of a deal. Like, no. When you plug in your keyboard and mouse, when your gaming controller, whatever your rig, whatever PlayStation or Xbox thinks you have a controller hooked up, you have aim assist enabled. When you plug your keyboard and mouse in, if you don't have freaking aim assist enabled, doesn't matter, but I'm pretty sure it still stays enabled. If you're using a keyboard and mouse against console players, you're going to wreck shop. And this dude utterly just like destroyed us. And he was like, in game chat, you know, in between lobbies, you can talk trash like old school, especially 2v2, there's a lot of chatting and chuttering going on. He was talking and it bled through and he was like, oh yeah, I just plugged in my keyboard and mouse. After the game i called him i said you're cheating he's like no i'm not i was like yeah i heard you said you plugged in your keyboard and mouse and i was like what you got to say now and he pretty much had nothing he was like uh mom's your uncle bob's your uncle and you know shut the f up and left the lobby because he got busted also big shout out to kid 78 who brought the attention to me as well in my chat during my live stream that that happened in other people's twitch streams as well and people were talking about it so they're gonna have to put a cap or do something on that because that's a huge exploit that could give people a really unfair advantage and really be a detriment to the game but as it stands right now, we're only playing a 2v2 and who knows what kind of issues could arise when we have like a full, you know, 6v6, 10v10, 20v20 lobby. I don't know. Right, right now, though, the actual core fundamentals and the just the basics of the game with 2v2, no kill streaks, predetermined classes is a lot of fun. But there is a big but and the pink elephant in the room, which everyone knows is coming, which everyone knows is going to happen because Activision is the biggest money making rip off company in the world, probably rivaling EA now. We all know that micro, micro transactions, transactions are going to come with a big giant rubber fist and fuck our tight ass and steal all our money and ruin the goodwill and just make a negative attitude in the Call of Duty community with their microtransaction. I almost guarantee it, right? I mean, like, as long as they don't have nonsense like the Peacekeeper or that freaking grenade launching S6 or Stingray or whatever nonsense was like they had in Black Ops 4, as long as they don't put, like, guns behind a paywall like Black Ops 4 did, I can't foresee it being that negatively received. Like, if they're just, like, cosmetics and stupid stuff like that and not actual, like, substantial things like weapons behind a paywall... I don't think it'll ruin the game, but you never know. And I mean, like, the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is the only game in the history of Call of Duty. Well, no, that's not true. Because didn't they put money behind a paywall in Advanced Warfare as well? Didn't that game, their guns have a, what, freaking, what is that, the Battle Star or whatever nonsense it was? Anyways, hey man, at least provide some Vaseline before you insert us with those microtransactions. Pretty please, Activision. Fingers crossed, but quite frankly, uh, we, we know it's coming. So... Get as much fun as you can in for the first two to three months before, you know, it's completely ruined. Not only by the microtransactions, but the Super Sweat MLG Tryhard G Fuel Korean Savage donating so we can keep his Corvette dorks out there, root it by corner camping and using every exploit in the game to, because they think it's somehow life and death situation. They think they're coming some big time amazing MLG streamer like 8 Thoughts. I'm proof of point that you don't want to be good at gaming to be a famous streamer. You know what I'm saying? Get a personality, get good looks, and get biceps as big is the f***ing country of England, mate. So to wrap it up and finish the video, long story short, my impressions of the Modern Warfare, Modern War, my impressions of the Modern Warfare 2v2 
alpha and just the multiplayer and how it felt was, you know, I give it an 8 out of 10. I give it an 8 out of 10. I thought the mechanics were great. I thought the way you ran, I thought the speed wasn't too bad. It also had a function, which I forgot to mention, which was like the super sprint, which is if you double tap the left trigger, you know, the bumper, or whatever, left, uh, you know, I'm talking about joystick, double tap that bad boy, and you get into a super sprint, which really speeds up the game, the sliding, the mechanics. It felt like the first Call of Duty that was planted, if you know what I mean. Like most Call of Duties, you kind of feel like you're floating, right? You don't really feel like you're a separate entity of the game, like a person. You sort of feel just like, you know, like if you were to turn off the bobble and run around in Minecraft, you just sort of float around. There's not really a connection. This game, it felt like as if you're like a real person running around the map and everything just had like weight to it, if you know what I'm saying. And I just loved it. I thought it was fun. Long story short, I thought it was fun. I enjoyed it. I'm optimistic for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Hey man, it might suck. Who knows? But as of right now, it's pretty cool. I liked it. And uh, this video was sponsored by Activision. $40,000. Thanks to T. Martin for driving me down his gay blue Jeep to the bank to cash the check. Word up. And big shout out to Drifter for helping me with my makeup. I never got laid so much before in my life. <laughs> and with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Eight Thoughts, a.k.a. Ocho Pensamientos. Muchas gracias for watching. I appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed already, listen, man, you're pretty much telling yourself that you're a loser. If you don't subscribe to this channel, you don't hit that like button. You're pretty much just like making horrible life decisions. So let me let me help you out here. 180 that. Be a winner. Be a champ. Be a stud like yours truly. Subscribe. Hit the like button. And have yourself a great day. And last but not least, and most most importantly, my pedigree chum. You all stay black! Spilling the high cracker, them shapes, the building movements, all the spring chemicals, now the charge of cool tires, let me move all the foot, the big, all the little bit, like, for the fox game, white man. Bring it down!